Praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. So we thank the Almighty God for this morning again. And today is uh, Tuesday, May 10, 2022. So the topic for the Open Heaven Daily Devotional, written by Baba Adeboye, is uh, in time in the time of peace, prepare for war, part two. What did I say? So the memory verse is taken from uh, Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18. Ephesians 6 18 says, Pray always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and washing their own too with all preference and supplication for all saints. Amen. Amen. Say after me, pray always with all prayers. Pray always with all prayers. And supplication in the spirit. And supplication in the spirit. And washing there there too. And washing there too. With all preference and supplication. With all preference and supplication. For all sins. For all sins. Ephesians 6 verse 18. So the passage is taken from Ephesians chapter 6, 10 to 18. So we have uh, read what our Baba, what Papa Adeboe has written, and it's a very good one. And um, my commentary on it is that, just like what fa- uh, Father and the Lord have said, you must prepare for war. We said it yesterday too. We, we must prepare for war while everything is rosy. It is when things are good, when you have less issue to handle or to tackle, it is that time that you must prepare for war. Take a man by a When you are very close with somebody, you must always give a gap of fight. That means you don't relax because you are because somebody is your friend, and you now relax. You just relax. You you relax all your arsenal and you no, know, your You just relax. Anything can happen. In the name human being will ever be. And human being. And Satan can use anybody anytime that are careless. Anybody that 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 are careless, anybody that, that are careless can be used by Satan anytime. So and you can never tell if the your closest friend is may be used by the devil. So if you are already relaxed, Satan can use that friend to attack you. Look at the situation of Adam and Eve. They have been living in that... Uh, it's not the very first day that Adam got to that place that uh, he was being tempted by the devil. Of course, no. He said, hey, Adam had been living with God in that garden and with other anim- uh, animals that God will always visit them in the evening. For many years, before God gave him a wife, and he has been living with his wife for some years that we may not even ascertain. But it's not the very day that God gave him the wife that Satan tempted him. Abi? So it took a while. Why? Because both Adam and Eve, they are all they are they were already relaxed. Once they relaxed, but they've trusted all the animals. Not knowing that Satan can use one of them, and Satan use serpent, and 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 that finish them. You see, so you don't relax your muscles, your nozzles, or your nerves. This is dangerous. When you don't have any issue now, 
This is the time to pray. This is the time to pray for your future. This is the time to commit your future into, your, into the hand of God in prayers and in fasting. You don't wait until that future comes. And when you now start having some difficulties of becoming what you intend to become, when you start having some difficulty of, of achieving your dreams, that you start praying, you know, it might be late. It might be late. It might not equal to any work. For example, look at the example of our Gabriel. It wasn't the day that um, David wanted to attack the Goliath that, was, that started practicing how to use the sling, the catapult. Was it the very day? He has been using it. He has been practicing it. So he has, he has attained perfection in the usage of that slings and the catapults. Before he now met uh, on Goliath and said, ah, I can, I can attack this guy in the name of the Lord. And he took his catapult. King Saul even wanted to give him, uh, even gave him the armor. The armor... Wears all the um, whatever the she the arrow everything. Oh, <laughs> when David wore it, he said, He said, This is too heavy, I cannot use this. I, I'm not used to it. That I'm not used to it. He said, It's too heavy, I can't use it because he was not used to it, he was not trained with the. All the jackets, the bulletproof, the sword, the sheet, everything. It was too heavy for him. So he can't use it. Azumi, he left what he used to to take all those um, jackets of Saul and whatever. They, Goliath would have killed him because he would not even know how to use them. So that's another lesson. You don't leave your God, the God of your father, the Almighty God. You don't leave that God. Because if you go to a strange God, how do you know how to appease the strange God that you went to in the day of battle? And you see, 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 you you see, you see, you see, you see, you see, you you see, you see, you see, Maybe it's this color you should give to if I tell us a mistake if you know about being a very rubbish way. You know, and there's no mercy in the spiritual realm. I'm an attacker in the street. For example, I want to see a shoe. A war issue near the if you if you suppose to give him oh yeah, a popa. Oh yeah, they should be no attack was only because I'm an answer your vanity for the shine. I tell you what, you know, I don't know. So, I don't want to see you. I don't want to see you. They will pour oil, red oil on him. So, uh, to appease him, I'm going to see you. But what else is the story? So, you pay. But because you don't see the one you are serving, the Almighty God you are, you say you are serving. You are not serving him well. You don't know how to serve him. You are not faithful to God. You don't practice, uh, you don't read your Bible regularly, you don't pray regularly, you don't fast regularly. So you don't know all those things. You, you have not been used to them. Eventually, problem came. And when problem came, what happened? They will run from one pillar to post. Such people will now run to Babalao. And when they get to Babalao, they say, ah, no boy issue. No boy issue. Issue. I he said, we are going to issue Lepo. Lepo. Over the phone, Adin. Adin is another hoyer, too. It's hoyer. It's an oil made from, uh, from palm kernel. It's different from uh, Adin and Gnome. Adin, do do. Near to. After the extraction of. Uh, no, Adin and Gnome is from. Uh, is from coconut. It's from coconut. Adin, Adin, Enya. Adin, Enya is from um, palm kernel. Adin, Enya was an old method of extracting palm kernel oil. 
So when they did, when they do it, it will be very dark. But now we have made a better method, industrial method of extracting palm canyon that will be clean, white like uh, like uh, soya oil. That I want to I want to and I want to never mind she book or share. I mean sure share. But at the end, you know, you know, do do is an old method of our palm mama to extract palm canyon oil. So if you give it to a shoe, it's a money But why? So now that you are with God, learn how to fast now. It's not every day you eat, 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 eat. So very bad, if the, if Baba now say fast for twenty days, fast for thirty days, fifty days, hundred, it becomes a problem. But if you are used to fasting, at least maybe once a week or twice a week, you have been fasting every week. If they now say let us fast for seven days, it will not be difficult because the moment you start, you have been used to it. You just continue. If you are used to reading the Word of God, meditating like we are meditating with the Word of God. You know, I said we created a group, Daily Bible Study Partners. That place we study a portion of the Bible every day, especially as being quoted by Baba Deboye in the open level. Bible in a year. We study it every day. So when you study, you read the story, you digest, you will know what it means. For example, the chronicle we study here yesterday now, we study Josephus in Chronicle chapter 20, 19 and 20, second chronicle. You see what happened to Josephus? He aligned himself with Ahab, king of uh, Israel. He nearly lost his life. He did not even learn from that mistake. He aligned himself again with um, another king of, after the killing of Ahab. And the king of Israel again to, to do merchandising and uh, to build a ship for merchandising. And God read it because he did not learn from that mistake. How, how, will you, how will you be aligning yourself with unbeliever? God does not want it. You don't align yourself. And that's why the Bible says, don't be unequally yoked with an unbeliever. The Bible says, we must not be unequally yoked with an So if you don't have all this knowledge of the word of God, then you will not know how to live your life. So you will be falling from one pro- So the reason why some children of God are in problem is because they align themselves with wrong people. Praise God. That's why some of them, are, some children of God are always in problem because they align themselves with wrong people. So if you don't have all this knowledge, it's a problem. So we must ready, we must be prepared to always have the knowledge of the word of God, to prepare to read the Bible, prepare to, daily, to always fast and pray so that you'll be able to overcome the devil when the time comes. It is now that you must do all those things when everything is peaceful. Don't wait till you are having problems before you know how to worship God. Some people, it's because they wanted to collect anything from God, they'll be praising God. At times, you just... Worship, just keep on worshiping him and without asking for anything. Um, Solomon kept offering sacrifices to God continuously without asking for anything until God came and said, Ah, and I come. What do you want? King is your way, kill of everybody. Your father has offered 7,000 bulls. Um, seven seven thousand bull, one twenty ships, one twenty, uh, one twenty thousand sheep earlier, and you too now you start offering another one thousand. You offer again and again and again. After that one thousand, you offer again in thousands. God, okay, kill of fair. And now say I want this, and God said, don't worry, I give you what you want. I give you in cattle of fair. Come to find. It's God. I pray God will help us in Jesus' name.